So how do you transition carpet to a hardwood floor? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. And if you're wondering how we make videos each and every day in our business, how we get our content ideas, how we record, all that fun stuff, stop by carpetexpertblueprint.com. I got a video showing exactly how you could do the same. Let's get into this strategy here though. So check this out. We got some carpet going to a janky hardwood floor. That is actually gonna turn into a vinyl plank flooring out there. But in the meantime, we gotta do our thing and transition this doorway. So we're gonna do a turn and Tech. You need a knife, a hook knife, a stapler, a kicker, and some staples. So, me personally, I like to take my knife and trim the sides of the door jam first so it's going to lay nice and flat. Next, we got to go ahead and make these some manageable size pieces. So, when we're all ready to rock, it just falls right into place and everything's good. So, we're going to fold this back and we're going to cut it so it's going to be about an inch hefty of where I want the carpet to ultimately end. Right, so I'm cutting this down so that when I fold it under there, it's gonna go ahead and fall directly under where the door will be. Now that we got that out of the way there, toss that behind us, somebody else will clean up our mess, that's how we do it in life. Now we're gonna take this carpet, fold it back, and get that painter's tape out of the way. So just take your hook knife, you probably won't run into that in your scenario, but in this case, get it out of there. Next, we gotta trim this pad back a little bit because if we don't, the carpet when we tuck it under there is gonna bunch up and you're gonna have this big old bubbling the doorway. Can't have that. So we're gonna cut a nice straight line there using the carpet backing as our straight edge per se. And we're gonna remove what's unnecessary. So go ahead and move that, toss that behind us. Someone else will clean it up. Now, fold it under. Oh yeah, that's looking good right there. We're gonna get somewhere positive here. Can't Chase come by and step on it a few times for me. Why not? Good, good, good. Okay, now that we got that rolled under, we got to bring our kicker into the scene here. So we're going to get that. We're just going to give it a little tap, tap, make sure it's nice and snug. We're going to bring the electric stapler, and that is the Roberts Electric Tacker. You can get that at Menards or on Amazon for about $100, and you get what you pay for. They are dope price-wise they break within six months consistently so i'm actually going to do another clip right after this showing you an alternative electric staple you can use price difference pros cons all that good stuff but that's not what this is about this is about doing doorway transitions so Anyway, that staple there, $100, the kicker costs about $80, and then your knives, they're about 10 bucks a pop. And that's all you need. Next, let's go ahead and fan over to the other side here. We're going to give that a little tap tap and not beat up our knees on those cords when they get in the way or anything like that. Staple that down. Oh, no, we're out of bullets. Add some staples to the game. Locked and loaded. Let's go ahead and finish this off. And believe it or not, you could actually start a side hustle doing this, making $75 to $100 per doorway. Easiest money you'll ever make. We could talk more about that in future videos, though. Let's go ahead, now that we're done here, and do another doorway, similar scenario. Ooh, that hardwood floor looks way nicer in this one. Carpet that we have in the doorway is way cheaper, though. So let's go ahead and do the same exact thing. We're going to go ahead and fold that under. We got it lined up where I need to be, I think. I might be backpedaling in a second, who knows. But as of right now, it looks like we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and roll that under. Get it lined up in the door jam, from door jam to door jam. So when the door shuts, carpet's under it, and it's not hanging out in the hallway there. Now, it's rolled under. Let's go ahead and bring our knee kicker into the scene here. Ooh, look at that staple over there. Now, that is the crane model there. Now, here's the upside to this one. It's got more torque to it. You know what I'm saying? When you pull that trigger clackety clack, you know where that extra money went. Those go for about $150 to $170, depending upon what distributor you buy from. The only upside, in my opinion, that the Roberts stapler has over this one is Roberts comes with an extremely long cord as far as electric stapler standards go whereas the crane has this little short cord so you always have to pack an extension cord with you other than that this thing is far superior and definitely takes some of the abuse that we dish out in this flooring industry but same scenario you roll it under you staple it clack it clack you grab your check and if you're only doing door jams like this as a service you will get paid 75 dollars per stop pretty dope huh so that's all I have for you in this video. If you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, you know to go ahead and comment down below. Like I said, you could get that video series, how to make your own YouTube videos, clone yourself, do it exactly how we do it over at carpetexpertblueprint.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on this next video.